Hey everybody, good morning. Even before I sit down to talk to you, I had to show you. Now I don't want you to be jealous, but I want you to see what I have. And I kept the sticker on there <laughs> right now so you could see. Um, the mat I had before was 24 by 36, and it was not a self-healing mat. This one is. And after I showed you my pathetic, well, it lasted me a really long time, so I shouldn't, I shouldn't diss my mat, but it was, it was um, cut all the way through. So, ta-da, I have a new mat. I got it at Joanne Fabrics online, and I ordered it on Black Friday and got a really, really good deal. So, I just... Uh, wanted to show you that before we get started because I know as you see it you're going to be wondering did she get a new mat and yes I did hey everybody it's Kelly from Black Thread Studio which is right here in my house and thank you so much for joining me uh, today is December 9th 2023 and um, welcome just welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. So wait till you see what we're going to do today. I don't know how, well, I do know how I got the idea, but it's not something that I ever, ever thought I would do. So that goes along with, was a couple videos ago, I was saying never say never, like I would never live there. I would never do that. Well, this is one of those things I thought I would never do. So let me show you what I have up my um, sleeve. By the way, did you see my new mat? Did you see my new mat? <laughs> anyway, I'm so excited about it. Um, I just got it. I laid it out for you. So this is uh, the the virgin. It will be the Virgin Voyage for my new cutting mat today. So I've got everything laid out and ready to show you guys what we're going to be doing. So what do I want to tell you first? So. Um, I, I did a website all on my own. I have no clue what I'm doing, and it's something that I've been thinking about doing for a long time. Um, years ago, my son-in-law, Chris, did a website for me and uh, as a birthday gift, and unfortunately, I was in a, a place and time where I was not able to use it, and I never took advantage of it. And then, you know, I I kind of did the, the blog thing, and... Um, Loved being on Instagram and decided that I would, I was on Etsy for a while, but I just, I have things gathered downstairs that I've made that I've been thinking about putting back on Etsy and my heart hasn't been in it. I don't know why. There's nothing wrong with Etsy. I just, I just don't know if I was feeling like that wasn't the way to go. But anyway, I'm hoping as time goes on that I will get things listed on my new website that I did all by myself. It's blackthreadstudio.life. And I thought that was fitting because um, my life in stitches. So I'm, um, again, just thanks for being here. And so to go along with that, I've started, I came up with a couple lectures and classes that I'm going to um, offer out to do. And one of them is not only a class with yo-yos making a pin keep and um a pin keep and a pin cushion duh <laughs> but also um a lecture that i'm doing that's um the yo-yo sisterhood uh, my life in stitches and i am accumulating and i don't want to you know just tell everything because i'm hoping that um Maybe some of you someday will come to one of the, the lectures or the talks and um, and get the story there. But anyway, I've been gathering things that I don't have that are made out of yo-yos. And one of the things that I saw, which always scared me, <laughs> they always scared me. This goes back to being afraid of dolls and clowns, maybe. And here it is, it's a clown doll. Clown doll? Doll? <laughs> anyway, I was looking on eBay, and these are these were expensive, some of them. And 
I, I saw, I'll show you what I'm talking about. These. The yo-yo, the yo-yo toys. The dolls made out of yo-yos. Now this one happens to have a really, really cute clown face. This one does not scare me. That's why I was um, all about getting this one. I actually saw this one and the matching brother on Facebook Marketplace from the same girl. So I got them and I decided how cute will those be to include in my lecture for, um, I'm not afraid of them anymore, um, for my life in stitches, all about the yo-yos. But then I decided I was going to try to make one myself. <sighs> okay, I looked on Pinterest, I googled it. There is not a whole lot about making yo-yo dolls. There, ju there just isn't. So I had a printout that I did, and I like to figure things out myself anyway, but I kind of, I think that's what made me get end up buying these, is because I couldn't really figure out the construction by what I watched on YouTube. There was one that was, um, you know, just all done to music. Uh, the girl didn't say anything or give any instructions, and they're not hard, but I just really wanted to know what the deal was with the legs and the body and the arms. So I figured if I actually had some, then I could, you know, pick it apart and look at the construction. So I, I did do that. They are put together with, you know, strings up the legs and then there's a button that you string up through both legs, bring up through the body, and then somehow that splits off and you add the arms. And then the head. <laughs> this one has little jingle bells for the feet and the legs. Not the feet and legs, the feet and the hands, which I think is really cute. I think that sounds cute. This one is actually, oh, you know what? This one has a wire on it. That's, I was going to say, this one feels sturdier, but that's why, because it has wire in it. This one, they actually did kind of little gold cutout um, for the feet and the hands which is cute, um, but I'll show you what I decided to do. So I thought, well, if I'm going to do this, number one, I'm going to use my my colors kind of, um, I kind of decided on a signature fabric, and it's um, black and white gingham check because I love it, and I think it goes with anything. And it reminded me of um, taking off of Sam's shirt that's um, the black kind of buffalo plaid. So anyway, that, now keep in mind, I like things that don't match. So that with um, this kind of brown chocolate floral, and of course that topaz color is all about me because that's my birthstone color. And I loved this fabric. I loved it because it had the flowers and that would be fitting for bring more flowers, and I decided I was going to put these two together. This is the combination that my pincushion and my needle book are made out of for the class that I'm um, promoting. It's not shown on my website yet because I'm keeping that for um, the submission for the Great Wisconsin Quilt Show that I hope I get into next September 2024 um, to teach. So I'm keeping that for that. But I also plan on making kind of a little special quilt out of this. And then I decided, why not make my toy yo-yo guy, right? So when I ordered my first gingham, this wasn't my first one. I ordered it and it came not in the right scale. It was hard to tell online. I didn't know what I was doing. It came in the wrong scale. I like the smaller scale with the floral. So I decided I would use this up and make it, um, make this the yo-yo doll. So that's where we're gonna head to. I have all this kind of together. I will show you what I came up with um, for the face and the hands and the feet. Um, and we'll talk about that when I come back. First in order, 
is that I want to actually try to wash these. See, right now I see this. Ugh. Hang on a second. They kind of came with some gross things on them, and I just picked a gross thing off. Anyway, I'm going to take these, and I'm going to wash them. So I thought I would bring you to the kitchen sink with me while I'm doing that. I'm not going to complain about the sun at all. It's been unseasonally warm, but I do realize that that is coming in on a weird angle. There, that's a little bit better. But I might. <laughs> this is a step down into my um, other space, and I might roll right off and end up on the floor. So if I do, somebody call 911. <laughs> that's all I can tell you. Um, okay, this one. Um, before I even wash it, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill both sides of the sink with kind of a, a lukewarm water, kind of a cool warm water, and just soak it with, I'm going to use Dawn. I looked to see if I had, um, did you guys just gasp? Would Dawn be really, would that be really bad? Yeah, Dawn would be bad. I'm not going to do Dawn. What I'm going to do, we have um, Arm & Hammer. Uh, laundry detergent and it doesn't have any scents or anything in it that's what I'm going to use okay but before I do that so I'm going to fill fill one side soapy and let them kind of just swish them around be a little gentle with them let them soak for a little bit and then I'm going to stick them in the other side in um, clear water and kind of rinse them off and then before I take them out and lay them on a towel to dry I'm probably just going to hose them down a little bit with the um with the kitchen fountain kitchen <laughs> I am so off today hey I wanted to show you guys this before I take it out so before I before I clean him this is what I have to do he came like this and I want I need to gather up regather his collar but while I was doing that I was getting ready and then I thought well I'll wait for you guys but you know, when you get stuff that's um, old or whatever, you kind of have to know that you're going to have to deal with cleaning stuff up. Can you guys see that? It's an old, um, it's an old staple that's kind of rusty. So I'm just going to be really careful here taking that out. It did leave some rust on the fabric there. Just a little bit. Look at that rusty thing. So I'm going to get rid of that. Let's go to the kitchen sink and try to rinse these off. Oh wait, no, we're not doing that yet. I do have um, my needle and thread ready. I happen to find a color that's very close to the collar in his hat. And so what I'm going to do is do just a running stitch all the way along and um, regather that. So why don't I bring you down? I told you guys I was off today. I don't know why. I'm gonna bring you down a little bit so you can see. Okay, I think you'll be able to see that. How are you guys doing, by the way? I hope everyone's doing really well, that you're um, getting all set for the holidays. It's always such a busy time of year for everybody. You know, a lot of work, a lot of gatherings, which is good, but sometimes it can be too much. So I put just a little quilter's knot. I'm going to do this double. This is a heavier thread, but here's the seam back here. I'm starting underneath with my knot, and I'm using a really long needle. I thought that would help me, you know, load up a lot of fabric at once because I just really... You know, I'm not being too careful with this. I just want to get it done. So I'm just going to kind of do a new running stitch all the way down. Load as much fabric up as I can. I should have grabbed my thimble, but I didn't. And I'm just going to go all the way around. So I would love to know if you guys think these are cute, if you're... If you think they're scary, if you think they're ugly, I mean, what are these? Again, I think that I think these two that I ended up getting are really cute. 
some of them that I uh, saw on eBay that have like stitched faces. Some of those were really scary, I have to tell you. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Ouch, I should have... I, I did say that, didn't I? I should have gotten my thimble. So you can see as I'm going around, this is already starting to gather up a little bit. Some of that just broke off and it came undone. I am not going to stop and get my thimble, but next time, yeah, remind me to use my thimble because I'm kind of poking that end into my finger. I just noticed that his blue hat kind of has, I'm calling him a boy just because he's in blue, but, um, and then the girl is wearing red, but do you see that fabric kind of has like a, a little floral kind of print on print or color on color print there. We'll have to see how this is going. Um, I'm, <laughs> do, you do you think I should go get my thimble? I think I should. Okay, you guys. Hang on just a second. I'm going to go get my thimble, okay? Okay, guys, so I actually didn't go get my thimble. What I did is um, I was frustrated and tried to push this through with my mat. And you can see I bent my needle really well. So I just finished up going around without my thimble because at this point I just want to get this done. So I am going to... I'm just going to tie this off, just tie it off in a couple knots, and that, that should hold that new ruffle. I just gathered my stitches and pulled it tight. I do see that because the neck is coming off of this, I didn't mean to kind of really have this to restore, restore it, but you can see your, you can still see the, the rope or string underneath. So I think after I wash this and get it set, if you can still see that, maybe you won't. I thought about tying a ribbon, like a bow around its neck or something, so you can't see the string. But that is a little bit more secure on the collar, so I'm happy about that. And we are going to go ahead to the sink and put these in the wash.
Okay, so here we are. We're gonna start working on the yo-yo monkey is what I'm doing. And I have a lot of things laid out here in different stages. And so I'm trying to get my head straight on, on how to approach this and show you. I think I'm just gonna start with kind of what I, what I ended up buying in my idea. So we washed the other yo-yo dolls. I don't know if you could see how dirty the water was. And at first I was gonna put them in the tub together. And then I didn't know if that red was gonna um, kind of fade out and get on the blue one. So I decided to do them separately. And right now they are laying on the towel, taking a nap, drying. So I'm gonna let them dry out. And then I think what I will do is go back. They seemed a little uh, flimsy in some areas. I might stitch them back up and, and just get them a little bit more secure. But I will say they are cute. They're not scary. So <laughs> let me know what you guys think. Okay, now this one might scare you. So I went in, I went online. I looked at um, Etsy and eBay and Amazon and, you know, craft supplies and what I had in my mind was kind of doing an animal head, like a, a paper mache doll kind of, um, maybe an elephant or a, a rabbit or a giraffe, you know, something like that. And all I found was, now you guys might remember these. It, it is a little scary. Do you remember these monkeys? Well, I don't know how old it is, but this is, I got it on eBay, and this is the original packaging. I don't know, I was trying to read the, um, it must have been from some kind of craft store. But isn't that just a lot of fun, that original tag that it came in, or original labeling? So I have the monkey head, and the back of his head is kind of, mm, so we know we're going to have to cover that up somehow, and I'm not going to do that kind of clown hat that the others have. He did come with a couple hands and a couple feet, and I have already attached them to the yo-yos to see how that was going to work. So when we get to that point, I'll show you that. But this is what we're working with is this monkey. I'm really hoping he's going to be adorable and not... Well, look at that face. He has to be adorable, right? And not ugly. Is that supposed to be a monkey? Okay, so this is what we're dealing with the monkey. After I was looking at the other two and I looked on Pinterest a little bit, I really couldn't quite figure out until I got those in the mail. But I did, I did kind of was thinking that I wanted the body to be a little bit thicker and the arms to be a little bit more, you know, dangly like a monkey. So what I did using the wrong size gingham material that I bought, the wrong size scale is what I'm talking. I think I bought a yard of it. So mm, should I have figured out how many, how much material I'm using? Or can you guys figure that out? Cause that's not the stuff that I do. I, I just wing it. <laughs> So if you want to figure it out, we'll figure it out. I'll, t I'll tell you how big these are and how many I'm going to use. Um, I did have a whole yard of that and I still have a whole bunch left. So for the body, I decided to use, and I did use my clover templates for the yo-yos. This is the 60 millimeter. So if we measure that out, that's about a three inch yo-yo, okay? So I have a whole stack of these for the body that will be stacking together, a whole stack for the body. And then the traditional yo-yo size, the 45 millimeter, and that turns out to be you know, about an inch, inch and a half, inch and three quarters size of a yo-yo. I made a bunch of those for the arms and the legs. So what I came up with, um, I didn't know that he was going to come with feet and the hands. So I was planning on maybe doing the bowels to make it a little Christmassy. Um, by the way, this would make a really, really good Christmas gift for someone, don't you think? Something really fun. So I did bring some 
other fabrics to show you. Even though I'm doing mine kind of more of my signature colors, I thought, oh, this would be a cute Christmas project. That's what we should be working on now. Um, so look what I brought. I brought some Christmas fabric colors to show you because I thought, wouldn't that be cute if you kind of did it in reds and greens? And then used, look at all those jingle bells that I have, and then used some bells. So I'm kind of jumping ahead of myself, but let's look at these bells while we're here because I am going to use a bell I decided on the hat of the monkey that I'm going to make. So let's just see what we have here because wouldn't these be fun? The doll that I had has the smaller bells on it for the feet and hands, but I like big and chunky. So these are kind of all a little bit bigger size. Here's a gold one that's kind of more of a mid size. I have a whole drawer full of bells. Do you guys too? Anyway, um, for mine, so I just want to give you an idea what that would look like if you if you did want to do one as a Christmas gift. Um, yes, I do have two grandkids. They really don't like this kind of stuff. I they think they would think it was fun for about a minute, and think it was cool that Grandma made it for about a minute, and then uh, they would never touch it again. So I've decided that. Um, Hang on, I'm trying to talk to you face to face while I tell you this. So I've decided that that's okay instead of feeling bad about it. My daughter really doesn't like homemade stuff. Um, I think she's appreciated the quilts I've made her. Um, but I've decided that, well, actually Paige is the one that said this to me. She said, Mom, if they don't ask for it, what makes you think they want it? So just don't make it for them. So everything I make right now is, is for myself. So if you want to adopt that, do it. It's kind of freeing. All the things that I've made for other people and I've never really made anything for myself. So here we go. Let's be on that bandwagon. Let's make some things for ourselves. So I'm making this for me for Christmas. A possible scary, possible cute monkey. Okay. This, what I started to tell you was these were the two bells that I came up with that I think I'm going to put on his hat just for something a little fun. There's a white one that I don't know if it's going to be too white when I get it done, but we'll see. And then there's kind of this brown rusty one that's a little bit bigger that will go with that floral brown fabric that I use to, to go with the gingham. So when we get done, we'll see which one's going to look best. I'm going to set those aside for right now. So you know that I made um, the 60 millimeter. Let's count how many I have for the body so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I do eight and don't smash them down real heavy, I think that's gonna be about a good size. Oh wait, I won't, no, that's a different one, eight. And then I made two more to kind of use as the neck and a collar. So eight, nine, 10. And I made those a little bit smaller so it would kind of, you know, stand out as a collar. This one is gonna go on top of the pile, kind of like that. This one I'm attaching to the head and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. And when I get done with it, and I'm doing the same with the feet and the hands, I'm going to actually glue this with my fabric glue onto the top one and his head will be here. Now, I did already start that concept with the feet and the hands to see if it would work. And it did. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. I decided to use kind of like as a little accent, like as a cuff or on the pants or whatever, um, the floral fabric to go up against the gingham. So again, his arm will be stacked. And then, wouldn't that be terrible if I get the right and left arms or feet mixed up? It would look kind of, then it would be scary. Okay, so then I'm just gonna glue that on like that. And it's gonna be really easy to do. So what I did is I made four different yo-yos, four yo-yos out of the floral fabric like that. 
and I left it so it's still, as you can see, my needle and thread are still attached. This is opened up. What I did, I, I kind of feel like I might be out of order, but if I am, just, just um, we're just going with it and having fun, right? Okay, so what I did, these were kind of made to be made into a doll. So this indentation part, and I am using the Unique Stitch Fabric Glue, it does dry clear. Um, if you use a lot of it, it will kind of be a little stiff. So, and you don't need too much. I say that all the time. Not only did I go there, I'm also going right around that top, that top rim like that, because I want it to stay in really, really good. Okay. So I kept this separated out where there's a hole in there. I did start to gather it a little bit and I'm just gonna stick that in and kind of hold on to it and pull that. This is double. I did mine double so I would have enough strength in there. And as you can see, that's already secure on there just with the, the gathering and the glue. And I kind of, I'm using my finger and pushing it kind of into that indentation where I had that glue. And then I'm just gonna take my needle and stick it right down through there so that it comes up the back. And I'm just gonna kind of knot it off on itself on the back. It doesn't matter if it came up in the middle or not because this is gonna be glued right over the top of that. And you're never even gonna see the knot on the back. So I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna double knot it just so that it's nice and secure. And cut that off. And then let's think about what stage we're gonna be at. I have a lot of different, oh, should we attach the head while I did that? I saved the head for you too. Okay, this one is the 60 millimeter. What I put the hands and the feet on is the 45 millimeter. And I did pull that one all the way tight, but I'm gonna loosen it back up. I didn't secure it yet. I'm gonna loosen that back up. And this really doesn't have any ridges or anything. I'm just gonna put glue around the edge of the neck towards the base. I think I am putting a little bit more on this one because, um, you know, I want it to stay. Okay. There's my glue. I kind of did this with the feet and hands too. I, I looked to see what flower I like. I like that gold. Um, do I want that to be kind of on the side or in the back or, you know, that that gold flower that shows. I think that'll be nice as kind of like a little center by his neck. So I'm gonna actually position it so that, so I slip that right over the neck. And I'm gonna hold it into place and just pull this, gather it up. Gotta get a little leverage on it. Okay, I'm kind of, um, you know, pushing it into place. Now, what I should have done, I can, I can feel, you know what I should have done? Is right on, on the inside of it, maybe glued it. You know what, it's not too late, let's do that. I'm taking this off. I'm gonna put some glue on the bottom. That will secure it to the yo-yo, so when I stitch, it onto the yo-yo that's gonna be on the body. That will make it nice and secure. Okay, so I've got it on the back and the sides. We will position it back on. There we go. Now I can feel that that's gonna be nice and solid on the bottom and stuck so that when we take this one to glue it, that's how the head's gonna stay. 
Look how cute he looks already with a little ruffle. Okay, let's do the same thing that we did with the feet and the hands. I'm gonna pull that a little bit tight. I'm just using regular, regular um, stitching thread. You could, if you wanna make sure, use something a little bit heavier. But I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna just kind of poke this through. It's a little bit, a little bit harder on this neck. Actually, I'm not getting it through to the bottom because that's where I put that glue. So I'm just kind of sticking it off to the side. And I will knot it off. I'm going to go through a couple times like that on itself and pull it really tight. So you can see that glue doesn't, it, it holds quickly, but it doesn't dry all the way right away so that you have plenty of time to kind of manipulate that and mess with it. Oh, look how cute. Okay, I'm getting more excited about this as we go along. Okay, so we're done with that one. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that needle. And I'm not gonna show you yet what I did for the hat. By the way, after I, after I washed um, the other dolls, I grabbed, look what I grabbed, this big bowl of fruit. I actually, whoops, I actually got it like this at the grocery store. It is more expensive, but when I'm working during the week, when I go to the grocery store for my lunch, um, if I buy it like that, then I eat it. If I get raw stuff, then it goes bad. Yep, I dropped a strawberry. So anyway, um, and I also like, you know, kind of stretched out and, you know, just made sure that I wasn't getting too tight because I've been sitting and sewing yo-yos all morning while I watch Nighting Hill. Do you guys sit and stitch and uh, what are some of my favorites? Even if they're not Christmas movies, they're so good this time of year. Um, these are my go-to. Number one is Funny Farm with Chevy, Fa Chevy Chase. Um, if you haven't seen it, you have to watch it. Now, somebody at work just told me that they can't stand that movie, and I was horrified. <laughs> Who doesn't like that movie? Okay, Funny Farm, Notting Hill, Serendipity, You've Got Mail, and Sleepless in Seattle. Aren't those kind of just, yeah, they're just perfect sit down, hunker down, so kind of get in the mood for the holidays movies to me. You know, along with your other traditional movies, sure. But anyway, I sat all morning and watched Nighting Hill. Okay, I did throw a little murder thing in there. <laughs> murder, a murder show at Christmas is always <laughs> joyful. Anyway, and I got all these yo-yo stitched. So I stretched, I have my snacks, I have a little bit of coffee and water. So the whole idea is that you guys are snacking and eating um, and joining me as we stitch together. So that's why we're here, right? Okay, we've got the monkey head. I'm putting him and the feet and the legs back into my little... Okay, we're, we're saving them for later. I'm trying to be organized so that I can get through this in a, in a timely way. Now... Let me get these out of the way too. Get rid of what I've already done. I kind of have to, I, I do that to keep myself kind of from going crazy. I have to organize stuff as I'm, as I'm working through it. And it's because I, it is, it's worse if you have like an ADD and you can't focus. It helps to keep things organized as you go along. So, okay, my glue's there. We're gonna be coming back to that. Now they had used um, like a string and it just so happened that I had some. I was thinking that I would probably use just a heavier like quilting weight um, th thread, but I actually have this like kind of yarny string. So I'm trying to think, I had a picture that was printed out. It's just kind of a drawing and for the life of me, it just, 
made my head hurt <laughs> to look at it. So from what I could gather is that they string two legs, two legs, and then they bring it up together into a button. Well, those buttons don't seem secure to me. So what I decide I'm gonna do, I have this whole jar of these old wool felt balls. Um, was it art, art Girls that used to make these? Um, I don't know if they're still in business. Um, they're really cute. I've used them for other things, but I'm thinking that if I, I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that string, I'll be able to shove that through with the right needle, which by the way, oh, here, I grabbed a couple needles to show you what I was looking at. I had a couple needles that have um, big eyes. Oh, let's see if you can see that have big eyes to them. So I thought the string might go through there, but they're very blunt. It's more like a, like a, a like working with canvas. Okay. Then I did find one that I've gotten that string on before that has a big eye and it is pointy. So this is the one I'm gonna try to use. So what I thought is if I'm gonna string both legs, bring that together on one of these, pull that through, pull both of those strings through, but make the string long enough so that one I can pull off, okay, I have to think about this, bring both up through the body, pull one off for one arm, and then pull one to the other side for the other arm. Does that sound like it's gonna work? We're gonna try it, and if it doesn't work, then we'll figure out something else. But that's what I'm thinking. So what I have to do is make sure that I get this piece of string cut long enough to do the legs, the body, and the arms. So I'm just gonna kind of I'm just going to eyeball it. Look, I'm measuring on my new mat. Isn't that fun? I'm going to cut, I'm just going to cut 36 inches because I just want to make sure. I'd rather have too much than not enough. What did I do? I grabbed the wrong piece. So I'm going to cut two of these. Are you following me so far? Okay, I'm going to cut two of them. I thought about doubling this so it's more secure, but I'm afraid it's gonna to be too hard to get it through, the yo-yos and the string of it. Let's just go with one. If I, if I ever do this again and I need to do it different, then I'll know I need to do it different. Okay, here's my sharp needle. Get rid of that little piece of yarn. Okay, is this gonna be the fun part for you guys is to see if I can get this threaded. I pinched it. Well, that was easy. I just pinched it between my fingers and it went. So let's just do a nice knot on the end. Now remember, you're not gonna see this knot and I don't want it to go through. So I'm gonna do several times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do seven. So I wrapped it around, I'm holding this tight. Maybe I wrapped it too tight. I did, hang on. I wrapped it too tight. I couldn't get it down, it's not, doesn't slide like regular thread. So I'm pinching that on there. One, two, three, four, let's do five. So it's not so tight. I'm pinching that and holding it as I pull down. There. See, that made a nice, really nice knot, didn't it? Okay, I am going to cut off that little tail. Now, I do know that, um, okay, I think, I think the, I think all of the yo-yos will be just facing up. Because I, I was thinking, I want to make sure that this one is flat on the bottom, so that when I glue the hand or foot on, it's, you know, flat to flat. Okay, now I'm gonna just get one on there. 
whoops so just go I guess right up through the middle of the yo-yo and come out the middle of the top if this wasn't so tight I could probably do a couple at a time but I don't I don't want to struggle in front of you now this one I'm okay without my thimble because you know that's a thicker blunt end I think I was I, let's just I I really could not figure out how many I wanted to do I'm not pulling them really tight I did try to count on the dolls that I got off of um, Facebook marketplace but they were so old and so flattened that and so squished together it seemed like they used a lot and I didn't think that I needed to use that many so I thought what I would do is just start stacking them and see what it looks like Ooh, that big blueberry okay one so I'm not gonna pull it too tight one two three four five six so far we'll see how many it takes I might have to make more I'm sure I will I'm sure once we get this started I will stop and make more and then I'll come back to you and let you know how many how many it ended up taking so I'm, I'm kind of eyeballing um, you know what the how many what the body will have does this make sense to you? I'm eyeballing how, how many the body will be. This is how I do things, very, very not technical at all. Um, you know, to see what proportionately what I'm gonna want. Do you guys do things this way too, or are you more follow directions and measure everything out and which I think is great. I, it, isn't it amazing what we can end up with and have such different techniques and ways of going about it, you know, for ourselves. But that's what's so fun about being creative and making things. Okay, what do you think? I think it has to be more. I'm gonna do a couple more. I was trying to do less so I wouldn't have to make that many more yo-yos. Um, not because I mind making them. I just wanted to get this done. I just wanted to get it done for you today. And our, for the monkey, am I gonna make the arms as like really long and dangly or am I just gonna not really care about that? Okay, let's see what that's looking like. Mm, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna keep going. I think it's gonna be more than I thought I was going to do. Sorry, those are so good. And there's raspberries and... Let me count how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I was thinking fifteen was about what I had figured. Let's go sixteen for good measure. Okay, so let's call it 16. Am I gonna do the same for the arms? We'll figure that out. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six left for the leg. So I'm gonna have to do 10 more just for the legs and figure out how many I'm gonna do for the arms. So I'm gonna do that. Then when we come back, I'm not going to string it together without you. I'll make the yo-yos without you. If you want to know how to make yo-yos, I do have that in a playlist um, where I go over how to make a yo-yo. So we won't make go over that today, but um, that's what it's going to look like. And then look, that is going to get glued to there, the foot. That looks kind of funny right now, but do you see where I'm going with this? Yes. Okay. Then my idea is to string both of these through one of these, because I think I think this 
that one might be too big. I might separate it too much. I think that will keep it nice and tight, tighter than what the buttons are, are keeping it. And it will have just kind of a softer look, softer feel to it. So give me a second. Let's stitch more yo-yos and then we'll be back. Okay, here we are. Um, 10 or so yo-yos later. Maybe six. <laughs> I've made more. I am going to have to do more for the arms. But it's getting late. I'm going to have to make dinner. And um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, I start getting tired pretty early, especially when it's dark out. So I wanted to get at least to a certain point where I could show you what I'm doing um, and then work on getting the yo-yos done. I'll stitch the yo-yos for the hands tonight and then get it put together tomorrow and then show you when I get it done. So let's kind of just keep going through the process here until I get to a point where I have to stop and then come back and show you the finish, finished um, monkey yo-yo doll. So I did finish up both legs. And as you can see, the um, wool balls that I had left, I think you can still get them at you know, craft stores. I was able to get one strung on and I think this is gonna work instead of using buttons like I have seen in directions or how they did the, the old antique ones that I had gotten. But this sharp needle, so I did one leg. I'm going to come up through the middle of that green ball with my other one, just like this, so that they will be strung together. And hopefully this will work. And that's the idea. So that's the same idea as with the buttons, only I like how firm this is. So once I get that, I, th I think that's good actually. I'm gonna actually tie that off into a knot so that that doesn't shift or move. And then I'll tell you the tricky part. And then I figure if that shows underneath, you know, it might be kind of cute. You know, kind of interesting. Okay, now what I need to do is I'm gonna get this both sides threaded through this needle. That's gonna be the tricky part. Okay, are y'all watching to see how many times it's gonna take me to do this? Let's see. Oh gosh. I can't even tell you how <laughs> I got lucky on that one. That was just too easy. Okay, I want these kind of about even as I'm pulling them through. I don't know if I did get that threaded quite right. Yeah, I, I guess it's okay. I mean, it's it's working. Okay, now I'm gonna start um, putting on the body. When I looked at the, um, I'll tell you about the arms after I get this on, sorry. I couldn't tell if they were on one of those clowns that I showed you, the arms were coming through underneath a couple of the collar yo-yos. And then on the other one, it was coming right up on top, right underneath where the head was. And I don't think I liked that. So I have an idea of how I'm gonna do the arms. But let's get these strung on here. So do you see how I made that string really long? Because once I get this done, instead of tying all these strings together, I'm trying to use one long one that will do all parts, the legs, the body, and the arms. So I'm using two. Okay, hang on. Maybe I'm running out of strength because I've been at this all day. You know what, it's caught in a knot. Oh, let's see if I can back, back that out and put it up through a different part. It was caught on the knot. I think it was, yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's two. So I did 16 for both legs. Two, three, 
three. Now, I told you I had a yard of this big scale gingham. I had a yard and I cut, I think for sure we're gonna end up with 16 for each leg. And then I ran out of the yardage after I cut up the squares to fit the yo-yos. And I think I'm gonna end up with nine arms. So that's 18 and 16. What is that? 18 and 16, is that 34? Of the 45, if I added that wrong, don't just just correct me quietly. Um, and then there's gonna be three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the 60 millimeter. And that took almost a yard of fabric. I think I'm having trouble because I keep pushing this through where there's a knot. Okay. I, I'll show you what I do when this happens. I've got to grab something. They're kind of like uh, the old, kind of like the, the needle nose pliers. There we go. That's easier. Good tip if you need it. Okay. Yeah, I'm pushing the needle right up through the knot of where I put the, where I knotted the yo-yo when I when I pulled it tight and tied it off. This is going a lot better. Are you guys thinking that it looks pretty cute so far? I am more excited than I thought I'd be. And then if you could imagine doing it in, um, you know, Christmas fabrics. I pull my yo-yos really tight in the center. That's why I think I'm having trouble. I'll just pull that back up like that. Two more to go. And then I'm actually going to attach the head and then show you I have a hat planned for the monkey. I think we should name it. You know what? When... Um, when I was little, did you guys watch Bewitched? And the dad, was it her dad's name, Maurice? Was that her dad's name? The, the, her dad, the witch? Anyway, I think it was. We had a dog that had puppies and we each got, each got to pick a puppy. I'm not doing a very good job on this. Hang on. We each got to pick a puppy and name it until someone came to get it. And I named my Maurice. Should I name him Maurice the monkey? I think I'm going to. Maurice the monkey. Okay. Well, Maurice the monkey has a body. There we go. Now, okay, I got to think about this. So, I thought I wanted to put, I gotta think about this. Because if I'm putting the arms through, okay, I've gotta put, I actually wanted to put this, this green wool ball underneath a couple of these to come in. So the arms were coming out from the body a little bit more. Does that mean I'm gonna have to take take a couple of them off? That's about what he's gonna look like. Okay, does that look better with the arms coming out? Or should I just go from the top with the head here and the arms coming out from the head? That might look stupid. Okay, we're gonna have to take this out. just heard Jim walk in the door so he might wonder why I'm talking to myself okay I'm taking two of these off we're gonna redo it I'm taking two of them off and then we're gonna um, I'm gonna cut this even so that hopefully I can get this back in real easy and then we'll put the green felt ball on and that is what we're gonna secure the arms with if that if you're following me. 
Okay, so I took two off. I'm putting on, there are little holes in here, but I, I think I used all of, all of them on a project that had the really nice big holes in them. So, but this is poking through really easy. <laughs> I, I said that, no, I'm struggling, but it is, it is pretty easy. Okay, so the idea is, is that gonna work? I wanted to use the same string. How's that gonna work? Okay, hang on a second, you guys. I gotta think about this. I'm not gonna be able to use the same string. I'm gonna have to use a different one for the arms. So let's just get these put back on. I think I'm on the right track though. Okay, let's get these two back on. So then I have that secure in there. And then I'll come back in after I get the arms done and we'll attach the arms going horizontal through there. Okay. Yeah, I got, I'm thinking about this while I'm doing it. Okay, now this one, I am going to, this is the top one. It's a little bit smaller here. I want to glue the bottom to the bottom of this so it lays nice and flat. So this one I'm going, I'm putting the, the gather part of the yo-yo upside down. Okay, so the idea is, is that's gonna be just like that. And then I'm gonna glue this head on. Okay, so let's do that. I'm gonna take this out now, I have plenty of string left here. I'm going to lower you down just for a little bit. I have plenty of string there that I can use that on the arms after I cut this off. So I'm going to tie this off in a knot. I'm pulling it a little bit tight so that you don't see that orange ball underneath. You don't have to. You know, I guess it's up to you how tight you want to, how tight you want to make it. Just to be sure, I'm going to do two or three times. And I'm not going to cut it all the way off right at the, I'm going to leave just a little tail because it's going to be glued underneath anyway. And it will be a little bit more secure. So once I get this glued, and I want it to, <laughs> that's gonna be cute. Okay, and I want it to be nice and secure. I have a couple little clips that I'm gonna grab, like those quilting clips. I could have actually just done this right to that big one because that is the exact same size as that. But that's okay. I don't even know if I need the clips. I'm just going to, I'm thinking, I'm gonna glue it and hold it for a second, maybe stick some pins in it. Are you guys thinking about how you would do it? Are you, am I doing it totally different than what you would do? Okay, let's put a lot, a, I say a lot, but I'm just putting more glue than what I usually, okay, do I want that to be the front or the back? Does it matter? Uh -huh. Yeah, this looks like it's the front to me. Okay. I'm going to go as far out as I can, put a little dab in the middle. Just to make sure that gets nice and secure, I'm going to put some on the bottom. So I'm glad I went back and put glue, um, you know, on the inside of the yo-yo where the head is. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to push that down. 
kind of hold it for a second, make sure it looks like it's centered. And then I'm going to set it aside. Do you see how his eyes open and close? I'll set it aside and I'll show you what I decided to do with the hat. So I think this is, these two are stuck together. I'm going to lay it down very um, carefully. Actually, I'm sitting him up. I'll show you how I'm doing it. I had that jar there. I'm just going to sit him up against the jar and let him dry like that. And then I'm going to come back in. This is what I'll do. Our, our green wool ball is, oops, <laughs> here's one, is down in here. What I will do is I will um, string one set of the arms and I'll pull it through and then I'm going to string the you know, string the other side of the yo-yos and then I'll tie it off and then we're going to glue the feet and the hands on. So that's how we're going to do it. I'm going to move him out of the way so I can show you the idea that I had for the hat and then I will probably go work on all these a little bit later on tonight or tomorrow and then be able to show you the finish, um, the little finished yo-yo doll. Always oh, kind of getting twisted. Hang on a second. Okay, so I decided, oh, there's no way I was gonna put hair on them. That would be so creepy, I think. Um, so I decided I was gonna do a hat. And what I kind of pictured was a pillbox hat. I'll show you what I pictured, because I think it's gonna be cute. Okay, <laughs> I didn't even need the pens. Okay, so I decided I was gonna do a little pillbox hat. <laughs> I think I have to pick them back up. I should have showed you before I put the glue on them. Okay, so I got a piece of paper and I kind of just laid out what I thought looked like a good width and I cut three inches and then I folded this up half an inch because I decided that I this would be the bottom of the hat and that I would have it kind of go around like a pillbox hat and then have a top to it and then I thought on the top wouldn't it be cute to have a yo-yo and then that's where I will put um, oh, where's my jingle bells and then put a bell on top of the yo-yo so what I did was I took I took my yo-yo <laughs> I took my yo-yo and I held it up against a bunch of different things I had in the kitchen to see what size circle I would need to fit on for that yo-yo to fit onto. And this is the 60 millimeter. And what I found was a wine bottle. Not a pretty bottle. So that yo-yo was gonna cover that, that area perfectly. So I knew that that's what I was gonna use to trace my circle. So that's exactly what I did. I took my wine bottle that's empty by the way and I just drew around it like that. I cut out my circle. I pinned it to a piece of wool. And then I actually sewed the yo-yo on first. So that is gonna be the top of my hat ready to go to sew on. So then what I did was I took that piece of paper and I kind of went around um, Maurice's head like this to see what it was going to look like and what size I would need. And I already, I already marked that with a pencil. Whoop. I marked it with a pencil right there so that I would know how long my strip for the hat had to be. So I actually cut a longer piece than what it needed to be. And what I did was I folded up that half inch and I used black thread because I wanted it to be a black accent because when I stitched the top of the hat on in here, I wanted you to see um, some kind of black stitching, you know, hand stitching. 
And then when I stitch it up in the back together, it's going to be with some black hand stitching. So let's measure this out. Get rid of my wine bottle. I, re I am really, really enjoying the mat, by the way. Okay. So this is how long. Oh, let's measure it just for the heck of it. It's about eight and a, eight and a half inches. That's going to be to fit this little Maurice monkey here. So actually, let's just lay it out on here instead of the paper. About eight and a half inches. I like this end better than this end, so I'm going to cut off this end. And I'm actually just going to use my scissors to do that. And on this wool, um, it, it, it kind of matches, it kind of doesn't, but I just love it so much. I love the color in there, and I left this raw edge as the top, and I'm hoping as I sew this in, so what I'm going to do is just take it and sew it all the way around the edge, and I'm going to sew that. Should I do it by machine or by hand? Uh, I think it'll look better by hand. Um, I'm going to sew that in there so that you actually see black stitching. And then when I get that done, I'm going to stitch it up the back. It should fit Maurice. And then we'll, and then when I get ready to do that, I'm actually going to glue it onto his head so that it doesn't come, you know, so it doesn't come off. Um, you know what? What? Can we, I'm going to, let's glue the feet on tonight while he's drying. And then tomorrow I'll come back and show you the arms because I still need to do, oh, what, 18 more yo-yos I have to do. So I'm going to do this exactly how I did the head. You can see he's already kind of on there. And that's all I did was push it on. So I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom of the feet. I have the bottom to the bottom, and I'm just going to slather it with glue. And now we have to make sure, oh, well, look at those little monkey feet. We have to make sure that um, the feet are going on the right way, right and left. So we'll do that. I really, I'm gonna put this down because I don't want to get glue on my new mat. That's a good idea. Okay, so there's my left. Well, I shouldn't say mine. Maurice's left and right. And we're gonna get those glued on. I think this will be fun. More fun than I thought. More fun than a barrel of monkeys. Did you get that? Okay. So, just making sure he's laying kind of in the direction I want his feet to be going, like he's laying down. I'm just pushing that on real good. And again, you can see by the head, it just stuck really, really nice and easy. I am going to stick that one on. I guess if his feet turn, it will just make him look more like a monkey. I don't know. Okay. I've got that glued on to that one. That's all you have to do is make sure it's glued on to that very bottom one. Just kind of pinching that on. Make sure. I'm going to sit him back up so that his head isn't too heavy for his body and it can it can dry nice. If I walked in the middle of the night, this might scare me. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so <laughs> we have the monkey. <laughs> now you can't see him at all. We have Maurice. And I'm going to... Um, finished doing the arms and then we already have his hands ready 
Were these made to suck his thumb and stuff? There's holes in his ears. Was it to go in his ears? We'll find out. Anyway, I'm going to work on his arms. Basically, I'm going to probably do this without you. But what, again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to string nine yo-yos onto his right hand arm. I'm going to string it through until they're hanging here. I'm going to bring that needle through that green roll ball and bring the string out the other side. And then I'll string on the other nine. And I'm hoping that will be long enough. And then I will glue the ends on for his arms. And I'm going to finish off his hat. So that's uh, that's Maurice the monkey for today, and I will uh, watch some more murder mystery. Okay, what could be better? They're combining, they're combining murder mystery Christmas mystery movies together. So I might watch some of those tonight and finish up the yo-yos. And when I come back tomorrow. Maurice is going to have a hat, and we're going to have a new little yo-yo toy. And don't forget, if you want to do it for a gift, you know, it wouldn't even have to be a child, would it? Wouldn't an adult really like that, too? I didn't think I would, but I'm totally changing my mind, like I usually do. So, let's get excited. Let's bring back yo-yo dolls, should we? <laughs> Okay, I will see you guys tomorrow with a finished monkey. And then after um, Maurice is finished, I will have uh, from Shirley's Cottage for you. So thank you for spending all this time with me. And I will finish up tomorrow and uh, see you then.
Hey guys, so it's the very next day and we're here to finish up and wrap up Maurice the Yo-Yo Monkey. Um, I'll show you in a minute. I'll, I'll save him for the end. But what I decided I would do since I'm not um, good at putting things in for you to like insert and um, you know what I mean. Um, check on things like to see where I got it or what I'm using. I'm just going to go through everything that I used to do the monkey today. And then if you like, this is a chance to grab a piece of paper and a pencil and maybe write it down. Or if you want to come back to the video, then you know you can go all the way to the end and see what I used. So I did end up using about a yard of fabric. And I yesterday I kept referring to the yo-yo sizes. And I will go over that with you because I... I wasn't mistaken, but I was leaving the, the biggest yo-yo size out of the mix, and that's what took up so much yardage. So I will get to that in a minute. But um, to rehash, we did the yo-yo doll. Oh, I was going to grab the others that I washed. Oh, do you guys need to see them? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, they're still a little bit damp, but I'm letting them dry up real good. They did um, clean up nice. It fluffed up the yo-yos a bit. Nothing faded or got ripped or torn. So these were my inspiration that I got for my yo-yo, um, my life in stitches, yo-yo sisterhood um, lecture that I'm offering. And this was the blue one. He's a little bit looser. I'm going to tighten him up a little bit. But he had bells for the feet and hands. And I decided that they were really cute, not scary. So um, my monkey, I did not do. I wanted to use fabrics where I could show him all year round um, and not just be Christmassy. It would make a great, great Christmas gift, as I said. So just to rehash, <laughs> I um, if you used Christmas fabrics, it would be adorable. If you wanted to do, there's all kinds of sizes and colors of bells. This guy has little teeny jingle bells on. I think, wouldn't it be really great to do really big, the bigger bells, the bigger, smaller bells? For hands and feet and really make them show because these kind of got hidden by the yo-yos. So that would be if you want to do a Christmas project. What I used to put him together was I just had a ball of string. My unique stitch glue by Dritz. This is permanent fabric glue. I used needle nose pliers on the big needle to be able to pull through the yo-yos easier. This is a needle with an eye big enough. It's probably, I'm sure you can find some kind of doll making needles or something. It It is pointy and it does have a big eye and I had no trouble using the pliers to pull through all the different layers that I did. So I had those. Now let's get to the yo-yo part. I had total about a yard of fabric and I used I used about all of it because I used three sizes of yo-yos. This is the one that I kept leaving out. This is the one that I used for the body. It is big. It's 90 millimeters and that is about the size that's on this bigger body of the blue one. They actually use three different sizes. Here if I can show you that again. It looks to me like they used big yo-yos, medium, and then small. So what I did is, and I'll reveal more, <laughs> more in a minute. I used not eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of the 90 millimeter. And I just, I wrote on there, it doesn't come like that, of the yo-yo <clears throat> template by Clover eight for the body. I did, this is the 60 millimeter, and I did just two of these that I used on the collar around the neck. 
Yep, that's right. Two of those for the little neck collar. And then the rest of them were the 45 millimeter. And I used 16 on each leg, not including the one that I used to attach the arms or the hands and the feet. And then on the arms, I'll show you in a minute, I used nine and it was pretty short. I probably would have made them a little bit longer, but I just wanted to get this done because I have other things to do today. Um, so I added three onto each side and I'll show you where I added those. And I ran out of fabric, so I used the smaller scale gingham and I like how it turned out. Um, you know, mistakes don't have to be like oops. Sometimes they turn out better. I'm glad I ran out, ran out of the bigger scale gingham and that I used the smaller scale because I think it separates the arms from the body a little bit more. So I'll show you that in a second. So again, the 45 millimeter. Um, what did I just say? Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12 for each arm, 16 for each leg, and then eight of the 90 millimeter for the body and two 60 millimeter for the collar that I did. Okay, are you ready for the big reveal of Maurice? <laughs> He's so cute. Isn't it funny? I really, I mean, I thought I was, I was challenging myself to try it and I was excited about Maurice, but now I'm really excited. So here he is in all his glory. There he is with his arms and his legs. So I'm probably gonna bring you a little bit closer now so I can show you up, up close and personal where I added the yo-yos. So for Maurice, if you could see, I couldn't help myself. I added a bow on the top, a black bow. I added a little black bow around his neck. And what I did is I went down to, this is where we ended yesterday. I went down two of these to insert the arms to the body. And I put one of those, um, I think yesterday I said orange at one time, but they're green. It doesn't matter what color they are. That's just what I had. One of those green little wool balls. What I did was I strung these yo-yos onto this arm. I brought the needle on one piece of string, brought the needle all the way through, and then strung the rest on this side. And then I um, glued the ends on just like we did the others yesterday. Now what I like is I use the smaller scale. So there's three on each arm there. You can see that that covers up that green ball. And I just kind of like how it separates out. And you can kind of see, I did try flip flopping it and putting the smaller gingham down here. And I really liked it better up here because it did kind of make a little separation of the body, which I liked. So a little detail on the back of his hat. I just did like a little simple, I wasn't even careful with it. You can see it's not even. My favorite part, the top of the yo-yo of the hat. I ended up just doing machine stitching top and bottom and then did the hand stitching here. And do you guys remember these? Okay, I was trying to figure this out, but yes. He has holes in his ears. So he can suck his thumb. <laughs> I hope I don't end up playing with this like some kind of, oh, look how cute. Or he can say, Kelly, I'm done listening to you chit chat. I think we're done. So that is Maurice. I think we're done. And why don't we just put him away? Should I leave his ears plugged? I don't know. He is cute. Here's the other thing that I decided is that I did already record from Shirley's Cottage. I, it is one that I've done before. It was Matt Kenseth. It was, um, you can probably go back and find it in the playlist from Shirley's Cottage. I thought I did it before and I did because it was December. <clears throat> this video is gonna be so long that I decided I'm not gonna throw that Shirley's Cottage in here. If I have a shorter video, I'll put in Shirley's Cottage 
or if I have a longer video and I have one that I, a Shirley's Cottage I want to share, I might just do it separately. But for today, I'm taking back that I did from Shirley's Cottage because it's one I've already done. So I know this was long. I really, really, really hope that we bring back um, the yo-yo dolls because, you know, it didn't take, it's, it's minimal, minimal cost to make these. I did Google this morning just to make sure. And if you put in vinyl head for dolls, all kinds of these came up, all kinds of them. Um, even on Amazon, they had some old vintage ones that came up that you can get. So if you decide that you want to do that, have fun with it and let me know. You can always, I'm going to post this on Instagram, so you can always tag Yo-Yo Doll, I guess. Um, oh, yeah, look at, he's like, ah, I'm done. <laughs> okay, you guys, I hope you have a good day. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new um, I can. I hope that you enjoy being on here with me at Black Thread Studio, and that you kind of get what the channel is about. It's just about us spending time together and having fun. And if there's something that we want to sew or stitch up, I either want to figure it out. I might be able to show you, or we might be able to figure it out together. So have a really, really good day, and I will see you in a couple weeks. It will probably be. I think it will be Christmas weekend. So um, I'm hoping to slip in a little Christmas wish for you. And um, for today, just good wishes for a good Sunday from you and Maurice. Bye.